Okay guys, so let's have a look around. I think I'll leave commentary to the minimum unless there's some particular points of interest. I'll sort of give you a general sort of rundown on the hobby shop. And we'll have a look through the aisles. And I'll try and do them in sequence, but let's sort of see what the genres are here. Of course, we're interested in monetary models. There's quite a good selection of um, books and magazines, including the Japanese publications as well. And a full range of spray paints. Oh, the Mr. Hobby. Both the lacquer and aqueous versions. There's the weathering colours. Now, I'm not familiar with this paint brand at all. Could be, not too sure. International play model paint, but I haven't heard of that one before. Okay, Guy Notes is very, I think you can't even obtain it in Europe. And, uh, you know, a really well known Japanese manufacturer. I have used their surfacer before but um, really sort of unobtainable in Europe. I'm not too sure about the US. Okay, Valeco, Model Air, full range, model color. Of course, got um, the entire ammo make range. And even the old Hombrols, the Hombrol enamels, fully stocked in their little metal tins. They definitely have a lot of the sort of more interesting sort of like the the cartoon type genre. You see where they've got the um, tune tanks. I think is the sort of scheme. So they've got that mixture of yeah, war tunes from Maine, and they've expanded that to a battleship range. And this you won't see in Europe, of course. It's like Tommy Tech, where they've got the 112 scale. All you get in this is a HMG, and then it's to be posed with the sort of figure. It's a genre that's really not in the West, I suppose. We've got some really nice built models here as well. Really nice. On display. Let's keep cruising. Yeah, these are more weapon sets. Montwell scale. And of course, the girls in Panzers. This is from Platts. I don't know if these kits are reboxed. What their rebox from or their plats kits, but um, you know very much that Asian, you know Japanese genre of the girls and panzers, and I have seen a few builders in uh, the UK sort of do those examples. These are the slot racers from Tamaya. More built models. Okay, full selection of car kits from Fujimi, Tamaya, Italeri. You probably, if you're into your more exotic car kits, this would be probably a good place to come, I would say. 
Hey, Shima as well. The normal range of Tamaya. Up at the top there, there's your gun down. Gun down RG, I think that's regular ground. I'm not a gun down guy, but. Big 116th scale trumpeteer armor, the half track. Panzer IV in three versions that they released from Trumpeteer. The Abrams the 16th. T72. And the Panther. So look at the top shelf if you want something big to bring home. I've got the Ebro kits as well. Now if you're into your customization of 124 scale kits car kits they have got all the uh, add-on extras which is if you mod cars you probably add on wheels so you've got all that some of the older Hasegawa boxings of the car kits a lot of these being re-released now by Hasegawa which is great news Look at the RC version from Tamaya of the Panther Jeep and the Abrams which was quite recent, Type 10. I think those are, yeah one of them's a full option kit, those are the big tank series so those three there are actually not, well not RC, those are static models but in 116 scale using the same components. I've also wanted to do one of these actually, I kind of like them. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is brand new releases from Hasegawa. So, 172 scale, this uh, Rosenbauer Panther 6x6. Now, I believe this is used by um, Japanese Air Self Defense Force on their bases as their firefighting vehicle, but probably used elsewhere. Quite recent release of the Yanmar tractor. These are 135th scale construction kits. And I've seen there's more and more coming out. So they've got the rollers. The Zaxis was the first one they released, which was this excavator with the twin arms. And I think there's even more to follow in that series. Quite nice to see that here. Interested in them. Got some really nice, some of the older boxes as well from Haskell with their carpets. Let's go back this way, we'll have a look at the display shelves. Starting off with those really big bike kits. And some Gundam. The motorbike kits are here. The usual manufacturers are Shima, Tamaya. Some kits, I don't know if these are wooden. Not familiar. few bolts thrown in in between here from Fujimi, Hello all the kits that looks kind of cool let's have a look at this one it's a Fujimi I like that character on there that looks really cool
they've got the educational series from Tamiya which are you know small motorized models and these are a selection of buildings in 1850 scale from Doyusha again you don't really tend to find these certainly not in the UK I don't know about USA but um, the subject matter of course you know Tokyo um, temples castles let's have a look at these display case really nice And well, I like that Abram stand, the Ab the um, Bradley. Got some Merkavas there. It's an M48, I think. Sherman 48. What's sort of interesting about this Bradley here is the. It looks like an aftermarket set that's been added on to the. So you've got the storage, I'm going to have a look around for that, see if we can find that. Okay, I'll probably make some inquiries. Okay, let's see what's down here. Okay, mainly, uh, okay, sort of this science fiction Macross series, Hasegawa kits, some of my uh, dinosaur kits, scale, still scale models. Really nice selection of built models here. You know, very good level of finish. Swordfish. I believe that's the main technical. M41 Walker Bulldog. Now we've got the, I think it's Arietta, that one. The back, yeah, C1 Arietta. I think that must be the trunk tier kit. A lot of Gundam models on display here. And the Mac series, which is, I don't know the origins, I don't really know much about, or anything really of these series, but I do like these kits, and they have got the full range here, and um, I remember when I was in uh, Taipei and Taiwan, these kits were really expensive, and I know they're still, they, they are still sought after. Check this side. Now well, they have got the original egg plane set from Hasegawa. Here yeah, we've got the same character from Fujimi Kumamon. There he is again. He seems to have a whole set dedicated to him. There's some real Japanese sort of, you know, the um, character sets are really cool. I really like them. Let's have a look at these built models. Let's have a look at these. They look really good. LAV, IS, KB2. Is that. The yeah, it's Korean. K, I think it's a, is it K1 or a K2? It's K1A1. Yep. T34. KT. The back, 72 scale. Leopold and the car. There's a little diorama here. It's really nice. The T34. Really well done. That vehicle at the back, that is Japanese self-defense force, Type 82, I think Trump did that kit. Mosa car, it's a KV diorama. I don't really understand the concept of that diorama. It's like some of the advancing, some of them on looking and the other guys talking in the back, but you know, whatever. 
Avenger. To carry. Fan molds kits. Now this was a animated series. I think it's called Poco Rossa, yeah. And they've reproduced the models from that animation. It really is some very it's very diverse the, you know the genre of scale model. Especially when you see it in Asia where it's you know more expanded. Like it. I like that Buccaneer and there's only one 48 scale kit of the Buccaneer, that's the FX kit. It says it's a 172F16D but it's not, it's a, a Sufa and it's put in 32 scale. You know, you've got an unpainted model with the added on sandbag armor and lots of supplies. I don't know if that is what can be purchased here. There's some really great armor modeling on display here. That's a Looks like a mouse in 172 scale. I haven't seen that kit before. Got the Marta in 48 there. KVs. That's a Panther 2 with that turret. That looks really nice. I think I've seen some build this one I'm sure uh, but I don't know exactly what it's about the Avenger different scheme half track with the Uhu the owl with the infrared search like the back then the scout car on the Jeep and the car it's really uh, full set of I don't say gone down because they don't. I don't know. Kotoboyaya. I don't even know that manufacturer. Okay, let's move down this aisle. Got some 1700 scale ships on display. And of course, kits themselves. It's 172 scale armor in this section. Starting off with the dragon kits. And some airfix ones, which are not in 172, they used 176. Airfix have got like these are really quite old. Ravel 172 kits are still falling their own from what I understand. I haven't built any but I know they have got quite a good reputation actually. Really good set of 172 scale armour here. I've got a mixture I do not know. Fist of War it says. And is this model collect? Let's have a look at the box. It just says Fist of War. And I thought it was Model Collect that were releasing these series. It's like a fantasy set in 172 scale. Combination of. Um, I don't even know what it is. It looks, it reminds me very much of like what Dust's miniatures did in 35th scale, where you've got the recognizable holes of German armor or Soviet armor. 
and then they add on like Mectronic legs just, and stuff like that but don't really have much details and I don't really know about it got the Teleri got the Tiger models and model collect down here as well and Zvezda the top off I haven't seen that kit for a long time Trump tier great range of 72 scale armor the uh, classic 1350 scale Bismarck from Tamaya, you know, New Jersey. These are really well known kit. Bit of Master Box. And again, some more of these. I'm just pulling these out because I've, you know, I've never seen them before, so I suppose I'm interested. Ah, no, that's nice to see. Brand new kit. From Tacon, 172 scale of the Het, and also you get D9R, which is that big armored bulldozer on the back. In addition to that, they've got the Russian Army tank transporter, which is better off known as a Maz 537. Is it really new? Very nice to see that. It looks like they've got a special edition here. Yeah, they do. Right, okay. So I've got limited edition. This is the HET, but instead you've got a uh, M1A2 SEP, and they use um, the TACOM is the HET, and Tiger Models is the model of the Orbs. Master Box, all the figure sets, so many quite easily obtainable in Europe to be honest Asagawa classic collection 172 armor and trucks and vehicles and everything else all the ships 350 scale now from Trumpeteer and Hobby Boss oh, these are pretty cool well 124 scale Master box. It's sort of funny that we, you know, we saw those, um, you know, different sort of genre from um, Japan origin. Well, this is from Master box. Master box. I think are they Czechoslovakian? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Actually, they're from the Ukraine Master box, but they've got their own genre of 124 scale. Um, you know set so you've got like the lady who's caught in the crossfire and then also shots fired officers need an assistant so you can use 124 scale car kits and readily you've got figures to put them inside a diorama and um, from my recollection you really couldn't get 124 scale figures readily available but master box have brought out an entire range they're really cool actually i mean they do allow like, lots of different varieties they've even got like a truck driver here you know sorry it's upside down but it's kind of cool to see that you know just pop out this end have a look okay this wall here the back end is entirely Gundam high grade or whatever. I don't know anything about Gundam really. I But they have got I think they've got a scope dog here which is a really difficult kit to find. I think I I knew that Bandai were gonna re release it. And it's been it's sort of like one of those crossover subjects I've seen some military modelers using the scope dog because it really sort of lays itself open to weather let's check all this out here a bit of the air feed club the 148 scale air fix kits academy these um these are motorized this k1 and the k2 figures on display here 
KV, another KV. And some busts as well, they've been painted up really nicely. Just check this out quickly. Okay, got fender bottles. The Mini Art, Mini Art, well known for producing these dioramic scenery, the vacuforms with the base. Just quickly show these. Got a scud launcher there, surrounded by mounted knights. That's quite okay. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's like an ambush scene. So you've got this half track crossing the cab's been hit the drivers not looking at well two guys start to jump off of it after the tree and the tree is following that captain craft rod as well okay 135th trumpeteer range trumpeteer range is widely available really in um, europe usa so i might just quickly go through that Probably interesting the prices here. Might talk about that a bit later on. See if there's anything brand new from them, but you know, Trump T is very hard to keep up with. You know they're launching about three or four kits every month in various scales. And uh, these are quite recent releases. I know that this is this 2S34. Let's sort of skip through this. This is the entire mini art selection here. Actually, as well at the bottom here as well, we've got more trumpeteer and we've got some Ravel 35th scale and in between there you've actually got a Leopard 105 that's in 72 scale with the armoured bridge layer Mini art kits of T55 type and T54s, including the full interior kits. Bit of a challenge to build from what I hear. Really nice selection of bit kits again. Now if you watch my other video about the museum, when I was talking about these tanks, you've got the K1, K2 types these three and then you've got the abrams and just look at how similar the design is and then furthermore if you look at the abrams and that leopard as well again a striking similarity huh? it's just the sort of western tank design i suppose that's the way they chose to do it it's quite nice it's got a kit i think it's just demonstrating aftermarket parts I have to ask about that. I'm gonna look uh, for some 72 scale. If I can find, there is one particular kit that I'm kind of been looking for. Whole range of Shermans, and these look like Panzer twos. M3 Lee. actually tell you which if these are for sale or not I don't know full range of 48 scale trucks armor figures from Tamaya I think Tamaya really have the you know the most extensive range of 48 scale um, armor kits just didn't it's say you know a bit of a mix I don't really know of many modelers choosing that genre I've, I've built a few 48 scale kits and they've been, you know there's they're pretty good but um and it just really hasn't 
I don't think it's, it's that popular as 35th or even 72. Whole range of all the classic to me is. They've got every, you know, the entire range, so. But again, to me, it is, you know, worldwide brand, easily obtainable in the Western world. I'm just going to show you quick, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to do all the tool sets later on. Because that is an entirely different subject and really, uh, here's Academy, so. They've got the K1, A1, which is that prototype. The same as the prototype that we saw at the, uh, if you watch my other video about the Korean War Memorial. We've got the K2 Black Panther. And that is, um, that's a really fine kit. Very nice. I'm going to look and see if they've got the Tusk 2 as well. It should do. I should imagine it'll be around here. There is M1 A2 V2 Tusk kit. I'll check out the price on that. Um, you know, Academy, they don't get the same sort of limelight, but that kit is, you know, exceptional. Read the reviews on it if you don't believe me. But the, um, the level of detail and also with this kit, sounds like I'm plugging it a bit too much, but this is. It, this one comes with the Deaf Models tracks. But this is actually, I think it's a three in one kit, which I thought that they would heavily advertise, but they don't. So you've got the Tusk 2. I'm sure that this is the version you can build other versions of. Let's see if we can just put this down. Yes. There you go, there's M1A2. And there's Tusk with the other style of uh, armor. It is a heavy box, actually. Probably, you know, the aftermarket set. I've, I built that set from Death Models. This is the earlier kit. Don't get them confused. This M1A1 rack is entirely different kit altogether the this version is entirely retooled does not share the same parts whatsoever so it's around here Italy and Zvezda Zvezda also get mixed reviews the thing is that they started off basically reboxing and molding the older Italeri kits such as that but recently they've been producing their own kits um, and the quality level in their own kits is really really well advanced I built this the T90 and it is excellent I can't recommend it enough and they've got their own philosophy on, on the build as well make it quite an easy you know a good build for a beginner i would say and intermediate level okay i think we'll go up this row let's have a look at this shelf i love looking at display models an a4 at the back a sevens a five harrier l2 and that's a Tehran. And a Panzer too. Okay, so Tacom. Tie range, I think. And we've got some air. Air feed club. These are all 35th scale. It's quite a new kit. The um, air defense system, the book. Mang. Tack on with all the kits. King Tiger full interiors. That's a heavy box. Yeah. 
Austin tack on. Pretty much worldwide distribution. There's Bronco. Bronco a bit niche. Need a bit of a taste for Bronco. They do detail their kits to an extreme level in some cases. And Air Free Club at the bottom there, Taiwanese manufacturer. Is the relative newcomer, which is Rye Field Models. And there she is, Puma. This is, I don't think you can get this in uh, Europe at the moment. I'm not too sure about US. It's really difficult to hold, hold it. And there I've got some exciting stuff lined up. This rare field models. I'm interested to see what they bring out. Okay, these are the sort of later, more sort of recent tack on kits. This is Fries Crane. It's Travel Crane. Right, okay. So this is just the crane by itself. And we've got a few more versions of that. Here it is down here. Right, it's, you see how it's designated? It's Fry's Crane and the Panther Alf question mark. So it's actually a mixed, it's a gamble. What you get inside there is a Panther, but you don't know which one it's gonna be. Looks like a surprise boxing. quite a unique sort of uh, marketing strategy most people want to know and I bet everybody asked can you open it up and see which one it is because uh, you know a lot of armor models you want a particular type or if you're following a particular subject that's probably what you want in the box not just a random choice okay let's just nip down here we'll start at this end again yeah, Dragon Kits, Dragon 135th, got a black label Patriot system. The old Scud, that was the old Scud kit, really well known. You got ICM as well, ICM, I think they may be from Ukraine as well, please forgive me if they're not. Let's find out, let's see if we can find out. Yes they are, they're from the Ukraine as well. Again, they're a little bit overlooked, really. I mean, everybody just talks about Tamaya, um, Trumpeteer, but ICM, you know, they're bringing out some, you know, really quite unique examples. So, a Model T, 1917 Australian Army car, 135th. Kind of different. I mean, the First World War genre is not that well covered, but ICM they brought out a whole range of you know quite interesting kits. It's Dragon, Dragon, they are getting some really hard press at the moment. See the thing is there's a lot of models that well I'm not gonna say models but people catch comments and all they do is repeat what others say. They say impossible to build because the instructions are so difficult. Well, okay, they did have some examples where there was, you know, a difficulty following the instructions, but not every single kit, believe me, from Dragon is like that. They use exploded diagrams. And I've, okay, I've had a few problems with some of the kits, but in general, if you ask around and you search for your references, people have built them in the past and they'll tell you if there's a mistake or something. But the level of detail in their smart kits, I mean, the 38T that they brought out, it hasn't been surpassed to this date. And their Panzer IV as well really still holds it on uh, in terms of detail. So it depends, I suppose it's like a market choice, but for me, I want the 
best detail kit in most cases and uh, like that stug threes I, I don't i don't think anybody's doing them at the moment you can find every manufacturer's done a panther they've done the tiger uh, uh king tigers but the you know the other types less popular now towards this end this is like the world war ii set also been very good but then the later releases they've got mixed reviews um their m60s the m48s and they sort of went head to head with afe club when they brought their m60s and so forth but here again this is m1 a1 aim i don't think even though you can get the abrams from quite a few manufacturers this kit is really one of the best you can get still to this day in terms of the detail that's offered and the accuracy in the parts so don't believe everything you hear and read as long as you say got the full range of um, figures as well from dragon and towards the bottom got hobby boss hobby boss get a little bit misaligned mis as well they sort of are seen as the you know the lesser of the trumpeteer brands they're under the same parent company from what i understand but again some of the kits from hobby boss are really outstanding and then again some are not i think it's like every manufacturer but there does tend to be this habit by people laying down a broad brush unfortunately best advice i give is you know do your own research if you can uh, you know ask ask if you've got a hobby shop and they've got the kit in ask them to open up the box for you okay you've got um fine molds fine molds you don't really see that much in the west and it's because most of their subject matter is uh, japanese self-defense force and uh imperial japanese army in the second world war so it's like a bit of a niche subject but you know why not try something different i've just seen something i've never seen before so i'm gonna drag this out it's an imperial japanese army type 88 prime move move shiki in the type 90 field gun i've never seen that kit before so i had to draw it out here's um tiger models quite new manufacturer i haven't seen what they brought out recently maybe okay there's one here this is quite a newish kit this ER, erc90 f1 links For some reason they chose modern so modern french subjects from tiger models oh i haven't seen that in a long time vulcan scale models so they chose this very early um, british tanks this point six they brought a few versions of it and i haven't seen anything else from them since really okay i'll just do a quick scan of the up see these pretty big captain crab there's the hobby boss um 9-11 sea hat Cras, this one 16th scale t3485 these are the big kits really i mean the big boys there's one of the very first trumpeteer big vehicles was the farm so you see that the locomotive patriots now all the big stuff more rail kits these are very new releases that one there the russian 30 nsc flatly radar system that's shift air missile system and also 
there it is. There's the S300 Grumble in 35th scale. You saw me build the 72 scale one for Model Collect. If it suits you, there's the 35th scale one. If you want to get your teeth into that. 16 scale MRAP and both types the Max Pro and the MATV. This dial park. You see, we've got a park tomorrow. These were the um, quite unique vehicles they brought out, which are uh, improvised technicals rocket launchers that's quite a popular kit as well the being well it's a Mercedes isn't it with um, on 35th scale okay. I'll probably work down this wall now we'll have a look at the aircraft actually just let's just have a little flip through there these are the Warrior series 116th scale plastic kits of figures, not a bust but entire figures. Um, beside it's 1 6 scale, these are accessories for I'm not gonna say it, shall I say it? Battle Barbies? I don't really want to. I mean, if, if that's your hobby, it's fine. I'm not gonna, it sounds like an insult, but it's not, you know. But there's these action figures from 1 6 and then you could accessorize them with model kits really ah, yes, yes, but there's standalone model kits as well you know build a 1.6 scale recoilless rifle or uh, 8 centimeter mortar these are 1.16 scale from mini art plastic figures okay now we've got all the academy aircraft i don't think there's going to be anything that really is going to be wow to me there they're easy to obtain and really good actually I don't know what their most re recent release is so I would have to ask and see if there's anything special I mean what we what we saw the other day when we was it was we're waiting for the release from Academy of their 135th scale AH1Z now I can't see that here at the moment. If I if I find it, I'll come back to it. Um, this this is one thirty fifth scale helicopter. So this one MH sixties UH UH sixties. Well, there it is, right there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there it is, brand new AH one Z M one thirty fifth. Um, this is pretty incredible lot of slide molding on it looks really neat if 135 scale helicopters are your thing i think that has to be on your wish list let's have a look at this then so very a few different manufacturers japanese doyasusha uh, Do fine molds um aircraft in 72 plats as well don't really hear much of them I don't know which manufacturer that is. KA models. And it's 172 scale F14. Here's Wolfpack. Wolfpack, of course, from Korea, make their own kits. And of course, uh, we'll see Gustav tomorrow at the show. They did sort of special US Navy types quite a mixed bag you know they've got a very good high reputation because I believe they do include quite a lot of details inside them is that advertised or not I don't know <laughs> look at this sweet Sweet series, you sort of like make things cute. I think it's, it is pretty awesome, isn't it? One to one four scale, zero with the uh, you know cats flying it and stuff. 
I think that could offend a lot of people, to be honest, because there is some real sensitive people in the modern community. It doesn't matter to me whatsoever. It's a plastic model kit and it looks kind of cool to me. In fact, I'm going to have a look at a few more of these. And I don't know who the manufacturer is. It's Edwards 1 to 1 4 4 scale kits. Uh, Haskell kits. The, you know, these have been bought out in many, many different markings. So they, they've got quite a long run. Um, the F14 is, you know, pretty dated by now. You know, we've got the Tamiya. 148 scale Tomcat in the A and the D guys but you know that's going to be quite a challenge to put together many many of the sort of classic boxings from Hasegawa oh here's some okay so I always feel a sense of nostalgia when I see something from let's say my childhood so I can remember this kit in the 1970s and actually building it GR3 I mean look at the box art really still holds it uh, holds its own today I think and uh, that Jaguar is well. I always remember this Jaguar kit with that Jaguar coming out in the, the plane really cool We've got some um, pre-assembled models here as well. They have got the new late latest sort of releases from Airfix. The uh, Meteor being quite a new, um, re you know, brand new, new tool kit. The Dakota as well. The Heinkel as well. They've got quite good reviews. Um, just be wary, Airfix as well, they did rebox some of the older ones, it's just do your research. But all there. These are the uh, the weapon sets from Hasegawa. Hasegawa brought out a lot of their kits without any weapons fitment, so you had to buy Weapons separately if you wanted to pick them with armament. There's Ravel, Flurry, Tamaya, oh, all the Ravel kits as well. So that'll bring back some nostalgia as well. But everything's still going. There's some uh, there's the best there kits. The Civil Airliners are really, really, really well done. Again, overlooked by some. In fact, they have got the entire range down here the A321 TU154s. If you build airliners, I'm, I'm sure you know about the best stuff, bringing out the whole range. They're very good. And we've got to my uh, quite recent release was this G6. I'm hoping to see the Spitfire Mark 1, that should be, I thought that would be here. Be careful, this is the older Spitfire Mark 1, in 48 scale, but they did, they have brought out a brand new up to date version, which I can't seem to find. Some white boxes here. Silver plated zero and silver plated zero. Okay, but, hmm. anyways, we don't even worry about that. With, with Tamaya, you, you'll be able to get them anywhere in the world. Purpose coming somewhere like this is really in a lot of ways, you, you're going to find kits that you haven't seen before, I always find that really interesting. Let's kit the hawk. Got a few kits there. I really didn't do the top shelf. So all the big kits are towards the top. Let's start one end. 
Oh, here's the uh, airbrush equipment, compressors, and everything. Oh, this one I was saying about the H1Z. They must have okay? just got them all in because the shelves are filling up. There's the brand new Hobby Boss B24J. These are all 124th, 135th, 132 scale Trumpeteer aircraft. They have a whole set of F14s and these are quite well known. Those are 148 scale Hobby Boss kits, but they're just big boxes really. Some classic Tamiya F4s. I'm thinking now I might just start looking at the tool sets and new additions. <laughs> I've, got some, I've got a can of, of uh, coffee. Do you want that? You can spend your money. Okay. The range of tools that you'll find it are really, really extensive. Uh, Mr. Hobby has just got everything that you can require. I mean, right down to the parts holders, the painting, the pipettes. This is another work stand. Even very small cotton buds for moving watches. This looks like a toothbrush, electric like toothbrush, but it's used for sanding. This is, if you look at the King Tiger I'm building, this is the, this is what I used for that battle damage effect, is this G-Tool, just a battery powered router, and you can get parts for it. It's a Gundam scriber, marker, paint trays. These are photo etched detail sets for everything. This is a big thing, the sort of ship detailing. The, the K2 Black, Tan Black Panther, we've got a dec decal set here. That's a really big set there. What is that for? And uh, Gundam as well, of course, has its own range from wave of detailing sets. Continuing the tools here. Uh, Minishima, I haven't heard of them before. But all the side cutters, so many different versions actually. The scalpels, tweezers, precision tweezers. You don't tend to find very good tools in, in Europe, in, particularly in hobby shops, I've noticed. But um, when I've been to Asia in the past, I've always found a really good selection. Here's Hasegawa, they do a whole set of um, detailing sets, including describing sets. A whole range of tools here, this is a paint mixer. Who's modeling works? I don't know what that is. Looks like small markings. Really fine tape for masking. That's a entire set for detailing.
this is definitely the most extensive range I've ever seen all the sticks salmon sticks in different sizes as well different grades really impressive that's an airbrush holder with the weight with the weight on it as well really incredible uh, okay this is railroad scenery scenics and some of the mid stuff as well thrown in there okay this is for the slot car races extra detail sets there's just so much to my is massive range of tools um, if you're interested in photo etch guys I'm just going to point out these are the best tools you can ever get for photo etch because these bending pliers or a similar pair of pliers I've got one of these um, handy drills they're kind of useful as well because they're battery powered tend to be very useful okay god hand which um, these are the best craft nippers whatever you want to call them sprue cutters you can buy or maybe just the most expensive I don't know I'll ask them what the price is but um, certainly with the Mecca and the Gundam guys these are these are the ones and I've seen these retailing for uh, over a hundred dollars on Amazon so I'm kind of interested to see what the price is here they've got a lot of them in so I'll find out okay I think I've uh, concluded my look around neighbor hobby I'm gonna remember I'll put in a link from their own uh, channel on how to get here and I'll just have a little look around see if I can find any 72 scale stuff see you guys